Hello and welcome to a grumpy old gamer. Today we're gonna talk about zombie games and the mess that they're currently in. All right, let me give a little bit of a backstory here. Uh, zombie games have been around for a while, blah, 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 but they have recently taken off as sort of like the default. We don't know what to do with our game. Let's make it a zombie game sort of fallback thing. There was a really great mod that came out for Arma 2 called Daisy. Some of you might be familiar with that. Some of you might not. But basically, you had to mod the crap out of Arma 2 so that you could play DayZ. And it was a pain in the ass. The game was fun. The zombies are nuts. They chase you for like an hour and a half, and that's cool. But this game developer, Hammerpoint Interactive, decided we have a game coming out and it's gonna be an MMO kind of combat game where you run around and shoot each other, which is like every other first person shooter game on the market. Like who wants another one, right? So they said, that's kind of boring. Why don't we take Daisy, which is a pain in the ass to use and let's make a, make our game a zombie apocalypse game and we'll call it War Z. Now War Z, the title kind of sounds a little bit like Daisy, but what they were really trying to go for is a new movie that was coming out in 2013. So they said, you know what? This movie's coming out. World War Z. We're gonna call it War Z and sort of steal the thunder. Hammerpoint Interactive has to be the most unoriginal people I've ever heard of in my life as far as game developers go. Just get this. They come out with War Z. It makes the people making Daisy, actually the main developer of Daisy, so depressed he was gonna commit suicide. Then he decided, you know what, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go join the army and kind of clear my head. So War Z comes out and it's fun for like a week. And then they decided to start changing things and then all this stuff that they promised us that we're gonna be in the game never came to fruition. And somehow they got put on Steam. And so once they were on Steam, everybody bought it like crazy, like, this is great. Look at all, this, all these awesome features. None of the features that they listed on Steam were in the game, except for the fact that you could run around and kill zombies. Other than that, everything else they listed was complete BS. So Steam said, you guys are full of crap. And they took the game off of Steam. After that happened, their databases got hacked. And all of the accounts that people paid all this extra money for were compromised. I personally had bought the legendary uber awesome account that enabled me to have extra stuff that never came to be, but whatever. My account was hacked six times. I would get an email like every couple of days saying, we've just changed your password. If this, you did not mean to do this, please log in and change it back. You know, and it was somebody was hacking my account. All my stuff got stolen. Ridiculous, I've never had a game have this happen before, ever. Even in World of Warcraft, my account was compromised once, but n nothing to this magnitude. They've had DDoS attacks, a database breach. Their communications with their people, the community, was absolute shit, okay? Basically, they had some Nazis running their forums that were like so power hungry and full of themselves that they just abused all of their people that were trying to talk about their game. Horrible management, horrible this, horrible that, whatever. So then what ends up happening is, I guess, War Z, the movie, World War Z, the movie, sues them and says, you guys need to knock this off. You're using our title and you knew about our title when you made this game because it shows exactly when they changed the title from random first person shooter crap game to War Z, which was right after the movie was announced. So what they ended up doing is changing the name. Now get this, this is the best part. They changed the name to Infestation Survivor Stories. Guess what the next name of the book is in the World War Z series. I'm not making this shit up. Zombie Survival Guide. So basically, they stole the name again. It's not necessarily exactly the same. World War Z is not the same as War Z, no but you take the world part out and now it's exactly the same name. And Zombie Survival Stories is not the same as Zombie Survival Guide, but it's pretty close. You know, these guys, they just can't get their head out of their ass long enough to make a decent game. I mean, physically the game works okay. There are a lot of hackers that can jump in and shoot you from seven miles away with a pistol. Okay, fine. I can deal with that crap, but all the other stuff that they have going on makes this probably the, the worst producer of a video game I've ever seen, ever. All right, one last little thing I wanna talk about is Xbox and PS4. Now, what does that have to do with zombie games? Well, apparently, DayZ is gonna be a standalone game set to release for the PS4, but not Xbox One. Why, you say? Well, Xbox is very indie, not nice. The indie people making independent games. What they do is they charge up to 40 thousand dollars per patch plus they have to buy the software development kit from microsoft and then they have to go through a huge approval process it's ridiculous for independent games the games are going to make like 99 cents a copy is going to have to pay forty thousand dollars to update a patch where people fall to the earth or something like that 
So DayZ, of course, is going to be an independent kind of game. It's not being backed by Arma, even though that was the original engine. It's going to be its own standalone system. I don't know what engine they're using right now, but basically it's not, not involved with Arma. So they don't have tons of money to be dumping into patching. So basically, because Sony is so open this way, they have no restrictions on any of their patches. They don't have a severe uh, approval process. Basically, they look at the game, make sure there's no like grotesque nudity or violence. Well, maybe a little bit of violence. Nudity is way worse than violence, I'll tell you that. Jeez, can't... What are we going to do if we see a nipple? I mean, a nipple. It's out there. We sucked on them when we were babies. But, see one in a game? Hell! It's way, way better that I smash this guy's head open with a hammer and watch his brains leak out than to see a nipple. But, you know, whatever. So anyhow, Daisy is going to be standalone on the PlayStation 4, and here's why. This is a quote from Mr. Dean Rocket Hall, the poster boy for the mod of Daisy. We're happy to see Daisy on any console, but there is, uh, I guess one problem. The console needs not to charge us for updates, it needs to be a little indie friendly. And Sony allows you to self-publish, but who knows, maybe Microsoft will change, but from our perspective, we need self-publishing because Daisy will be a great digital download title. So there you have it, right from the horse's mouth. I'll be back real soon, everybody, to bitch about some more stuff. Make sure you leave comments below. I want to see what you guys think about this debacle that is the Warzy Daisy zombie survival MMO game thing. Love ya.